Hey, what's up guys? David here. If you're watching this, you're part of my school community or you are uh, watching on YouTube, but I just want to say thank you for stopping by either way. Um, so today we're going to make an automation that generates IG posts with different quotes of popular figures or um, just inspirational quotes in general. So if you look at this page, it has over 1 million followers and this page has over 20 million followers just posting quotes. Now I'm going to show you how to make a one type of template with this automation, but you can really get creative and switch up um, the style of your quotes by just having two or three of these scheduled at different times. So this is automation in front of you. It's only five steps. It's very, very simple. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set it up first, and then I'm going to build the framework of the modules, and then we're going to put it all together. So first, let us begin by, well, I'm probably, this is a voiceover, so I'm probably just explaining each step, but it's, it's really easy. So this is going to be the Google Sheets. This is the, what starts everything. So this is the template here. It's an index, title, quote, then Instagram caption. So the index is what's going to allow the automation to thumb through the queue. The title is just for you to know what the quote's about. Then you have the actual quote, which is going to go on top of the um, Instagram post. That's going to be the caption overlay. And then you also have the Instagram caption itself, aside from the quote that's going to be overlaid on the photo. So you can just copy this template. It's going to be in my community, or you can just make this yourself really easy. And the next step is going to be filling these columns out, which is super, super easy. It's going to take you five minutes with Claude or ChatGPT. Personally, I like to use Claude just because I feel like it's better at creative writing. And so what I did here was I'd said, use a table with 300, or excuse me, give me a table with 365 quotes from Alex or Mosey with the following columns. You can screenshot that, use it, and um, it might give you some pushback for copyright, but it's pretty easy to get around that with AI. Um, they'll usually make you anywhere from 50 to 100 at a time. And then so once it gives you your quotes, all you got to do is you copy and paste it back into your Google Sheet. So that's what I did here. And now that it's in the Google Sheet, um, you'll, it's only eight for demo purposes, but obviously you'll want to fill it up with 100 or 200 or however many you want to do. Um, but we're going to build out the scenario custom. I'm going to do it right in front of you. So the first thing in the scenario is a tools module, specifically the increment function. Let me just find that. Bam, there it is. So we're going to start that. And afterwards, we're going to go to Google search for files. So... And then after that, we're going to share, or excuse me, um, yeah, it's called get a share link. That's what it's called. And then it is the Google Sheet. So the automation can pick what the caption is going to be. And then lastly is your Instagram business account. It needs to be an Instagram business account to get uh, connected with Make. And just so you guys understand the setup of these modules what i'm going to do before we get the content set up is i'm going to show you how i connected my google drive folder so what i did was um, i have the content in a specific folder so i already generated it and i have to configure my module to ensure that it's searching in the right folder. So for me, it's make.com, Instagram still quotes, and then bulk one, Alex Hermosi. And then I'm gonna retrieve the files. And then I'm gonna make sure that it's searching for within the file name. And I'm going to map the increment function value in there, and it's gonna be one because it only goes up. And you wanna make sure that the limit is one, so it only looks for one file at a time and so that's already set up oh and then one more thing is you want to make sure that the uh sorry i didn't save let me just make sure i got this right so for me it's within these folders it's going to be make.com for you it might be different how to find that one okay perfect i'm going to retrieve a file 
and then search within the file folder names and then I'm mapping the value one more time. You see that? Limit is one and for the search options you wanna put search for name containing the search query, not the exact name because it's gonna be different every time. And after that, we're going to, let me, oh yeah, let me just show you how to get the content. So that's how you configure the first Google Drive module. Next, we're gonna go into Canva, and this is my template. So I chose Alex Hermosi, and what I did was I just screenshotted his Twitter handle and edited the background to be black with a, with a quote right in the middle. And then you can replace the at with your Instagram page, obviously. So what I did was I created a, a quote. And if you see my Google Sheet, that's the first um, quote in my Google Sheet. But what we need to do is we need to batch create these to have our content have the same template, but with a bunch of different quotes. So if you click the bottom left of the screen, you're going to see bulk create, and then you're going to enter your data manually. So mine's already filled out, but let me just... Um, let me just show you what I did. So I just copied all the column, the quote column. And then I went back to the table. And you know what? I'm just going to clear the table for you guys real quick. So that's how it would look for you. And then I just copy and paste. See? And then once you're done, click done. And then it's going to ask you if you want to generate all eight or however many designs that you have based off of the amount of quotes. And you wanna make sure that your text box, like that element is connected to the bulk create uh, variable. So I'm gonna hit generate. <clears throat> and voila, you can see I have eight designs with different quotes. So all you do there is you go up to the top right, download as a PNG, it'll give you a zip file which you will then save to your computer and then open it up before you save it to your Google Drive. So this is what mine looks like when I upload it to Google Drive. Each design, the name is literally just one, two, three, four. It's essentially the same as uh, whatever index it is in the quote and whatever page it is in Canva. So it's you don't have to rename it. It's perfect. Um, <clears throat> so moving on, that's how the Google Drive module knows which design is next because it, we're going in increments starting from one. So next we're gonna connect all the modules. So for me, it would be um, the get a share link module. So in order for me to do that, I have to find the file ID. And then if you are sharing this URL, you wanna make sure that the type is for anyone. <clears throat> Click okay. And then next, Oh, and another thing too, go back to your Google Drive and you want to make sure that it is available for anyone, like anyone that with a link can use your um, files. And then we're just going to click the proper template, or excuse me, the proper Google Sheet. And then you want it to... You want the index to be the same as the increment function so everything matches and then you want it to um, sort order in ascending perfect and then you want the limit to always be one so i'm going to save this and then lastly all you got to do is connect your instagram account and in order to map your photo URL, it's going to be web content link. But because I didn't run any data through this automation and it's fresh, I don't have that option from the previous module. So I'm just going to guess here. It's, a, it, it's, it's that value. And then the caption is going to be mapped from your Google Sheet. It's going to be the quote, or excuse me, the Instagram caption. But you know what? I'm just going to run the automation so I can map everything. Yeah, see, I, I didn't type that out right. <clears throat> so you want to make sure it's the web content link. That's the one that you want to put in there. And then for the caption, it's going to be from your Google Sheet. You just map that, bam. And everything looks all in order. You run the automation. 
and it looks good so why don't we check instagram once it's all done and just you know you can schedule this however you want you could do it multiple times a day once a day so let me go to my instagram go into my profile and bam there it is perfect and that's how you do the automation guys um, like subscribe leave a comment if you have any questions and all the resources are in my school community